What's up everybody? I just wanted to share some things I picked up in Arbitrage this weekend at Barnes & Noble. They were running a 40% off sale. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't know about this sale until I got there. I just happened to be walking through. But I ended up getting, uh, you know, I got a couple packs of uh, Ixalan, seven packs. These ended up being about two thirteen a pack, which is pretty great. I mean, that's cheaper than uh, the per price pack at the cheapest box level if you got them for $80 a box. Uh, I also got uh, three of the challenger decks they didn't have the the one with the uh the phoenix in it but i did get the united assault lightning aggro and uh deadly discovery challenger decks but it's pretty cool i thought um i know this one is uh probably the, uh, i think actually the what is it i think united assault is actually the cheapest but still ended up paying about 17 dollars for these all together they didn't have the one with the uh, nip missing on the front you know that was one it's got the uh, arc light phoenix in it and um, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a shame they didn't have those, but they were pretty much picked through. And I also had a uh, chance to pick up the Primal Genesis Commander deck. So I, I know this goes for about 40, 45 on the open market. I know there's a second printing coming of these, which is pretty cool. But uh, I did it. I did get to pick this up for twenty three dollars, which is a great deal. I think um, I'm not sure how long the sale at. Uh, Barnes & Noble is going on for, uh, for just that one specific sale. I should have taken a ride and tried to take a, hit up every Barnes & Noble in the area, but the, the day just didn't work out for me that way. But I uh, just wanted to share these things with you. Thought I'd open up these Ixalan packs and we could, uh, you know, call this a quick little fun video. Put this over here to the side. All right, so I'm going to rip through these real fast. This extra paper packaging. Kind of ridiculous. I mean, they do look cool, but they are very, very wasteful. So much waste in this hobby. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry about that, guys. We're good. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, not really looking for anything specific. I don't have a lot of these cards. Just wanted to kind of open them. Uh, I also don't love the, the paper quality on these, like anything from my monquette up until uh, recently, Core 2020, when they revised the, uh, the paper quality stock. And I really don't love these, the way these cards feel, the way they smell. It's kind of weird to me that they did this cheaper. Actually, these don't feel too bad. Here's an opt. Maybe it's these ones that are printed in, uh, well, it says made in the USA on the back of the package. Huh. I'm not sure. I know the ones in Belgium always have a nicer quality. Spell Pierce, Stop, two good cards. Trove of Temptation, Kumina's Speaker, Marauding Looter, and Dragon Skull Summit. Not bad. Just good. It's a good staple overall. That's a couple bucks. Rotating out. That's all right. I'm not playing. I'm not playing standard these days anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right. Nothing too crazy. I do like Kite Sail Freebooter. I played with that a lot in the MTG Arena when I first came out. Uh, just was in one of those pre-con decks. Sentinel Totem, Savage Stomp, and oh wow, another Dragon Skull Summit. That's not so bad. <laughs> Are they two or three bucks? I'm actually not sure on the price, but I know they're not a lot. That's cool, I mean, you don't have any. Back when I used to collect, before I sold my big collection, uh, I did have a play set of all those things from previous. I think these came out in like M11 or something. Don't remember exactly. All right, let's see. Nothing great common wise. So it looks very similar to the last pack. All right, Stormfleet Aerialist, Wanted Scoundrels, Stormfleet Spy, and Sanguine Sacrament. I know this gets played in a lot of fun combo decks, especially like March of the, was it March of the Multitudes and a Foil Snapping Sailback. Sort of thing. It's a pretty nice foil. Love when they get those colors in there. Kind of reminds me of Hex Drinker a little bit with that, you know, that colorful belly or that colorful spine. It's, you know, it's not, it's not, it's gut. All right, yeah, these cards actually do feel pretty nice. I think it's these single packs that just have a nicer quality. All right, the Kite Sail Freebooter, Sleek Schooner. Savage Stomp, 
Ooh, Jaw Raptor. That's a good one. I like that guy. I know he's, I don't know what he's worth, but I do like him from a, an effectability perspective. These were cool cards. I'm sad I missed, uh, I'm sad I missed Khan. I missed all, all of Khan's. I missed all of Ixalan. I mean, I played with it on MTG Arena, but collecting and playing with friends, that was, uh, that was probably would have been a fun set. I think the most fun I ever had playing was Zendikar block. Original Zendikar. Me and my friends spent so much money and time playing that. And it was during that set that I won the most amount of uh, competitive <clears throat> tournaments at my local game store playing a pretty cool zombie deck. Uh, not zombie deck, I'm sorry. Goblin deck. Slice and Twain. Duskborn Sky Marcher. Urfrook Branchwalker. That's a good one. And... And Jolly Sunwing with a rigging runner foil. I actually have another one of these. I picked it up in a grab bag. The comic book store in Glassboro has a pretty cool machine. It's like a sticker machine. You put 50 cents in, you pull back random rares and uncommons, and then there's a chance inside that machine to get a couple chase rares. And they also have a, uh, a one of, you can win a box for 50 cents. Pretty cool. I've never won it, but I do end up getting a lot of bulk two to three dollar rares when I play that game because <clears throat> they don't just fill it with junk. They've actually got some pretty good cards in there. Another spell appears. Will there be an opt in this pack too? All right. Trove of Temptation, Verdant Rebirth, Thundering Spineback, Ashes of the Abhorrent. Players can't cast spells from graveyards after their ability. And let's see. Last pack, guys. I'll just uh, end this video quickly. Let's see what I got in here. And good commons. Nothing that I really see being played except, except Spell Pierce. That's a good one. All right. Slice and Twain. Duskborn Sky Marcher. Walk the Plank. Captivating Crew. All right. That's everything, guys. Thank you again for watching. Remember, arbitrage is really cool. That's when you can get something for less than the market value at retail. Uh, be sure to keep a lookout for that. And GameStop always has, not always, but they often have things in uh, the clearance section for Magic the Gathering. Also, you know, all these retail stores that sell Magic will eventually put these things on clearance, and then you can get, pick up killer deals like Commando Primer Genesis for $23. I'm probably going to keep this sealed. Uh, I have another one from uh, 2018. I have the, uh, what is that one called? Nature's Vengeance. It's another green. That's actually, that's actually John. This is Naya. But that's also sealed sitting on my my little uh, table over here. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm MTG Pack Addict. Be back with more as soon as I can get some more product open and share. Take care.